Uh, yeah, what's up guys? Uh, what's up Comfy Gang? It's Comfy here and yeah, sorry for not not uploading for a long time again. Um, you guys are probably seeing a trend by now that I'm not exactly a man of my word and I'm not really good with making promises. So please bear with me. And um, yeah, I just wanted to thank those who have stuck with me so far. And um, today I wanted to talk about uh, the reason why I haven't been on making videos this time because I feel like there's a reason there's a reason every time I, you know, a new reason every time I don't upload for a while. And this time it has, it happens to be something that, um, you know, again, has also been bothering me all my life. But um, I feel like this one's maybe like the, the one of the root cause, I say this about everything, fuck. Um, but it's just another root cause of all my problems and it would have to be video game addiction. And, you know, just to put things into context, um, just recently over the past, I intended to make a video maybe like two days ago, but I got my hands on this game called Fire Emblem Three Houses. Not sure if you've heard of it, but um, holy shit, this game is so fucking comfy and I, I played it, um, I played it 27 hours over the span of two days. So just take a second and let that, let that digest. That's 13 and a half hours per day, right? Me, leaving me 10 and a half hours to um, do whatever I, else aside from gaming. Obviously, time has to be spent eating and brushing my teeth and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't I didn't shower <laughs> over the past two days. So there's that. Um what else did I do aside from playing Fire Emblem? I guess maybe listen to some music or watch some YouTube for like 30 minutes. But that's pretty much all I did. Was play this fucking game. 13 and a half hours, pretty much non-stop. I guess pissing too takes up some time or taking a shit. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. And that, that just basically shows you how effed in the head I am when it comes to video games and just how deeply rooted or just how severe my addiction is. And um, thankfully it's gotten better nowadays where I somehow miraculously get bored of games more quickly and this might not sound like a good thing but it actually is because if I was anything like I was in the past right now as a neat I would just be playing video games all fucking day and would literally not get anything done I'd probably balloon to uh, 500 pounds and um, I don't know be sweating lard or whatever, but yeah, because I would, or I don't know, I'd have some like, I'd have like scoliosis, like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Like that's how bad it would get because back in the day, um, any time I wasn't doing anything that I had to, which was mostly schoolwork at the time. And you know, cause I was helicopter parented. Um, in my free time, I would basically just fucking play video games. That's pretty much all I did. I pretty much didn't have a social life outside of school. Um, and you could, and whatever, that's besides the point. Um, yeah, I, I didn't have a social life outside of school. I didn't have any hobbies, any interests. Most kids my age were, you know, getting into fashion, you know, thinking about talking to girls, um, I don't know what, playing sports, practicing basketball, soccer, whatever. And what was I doing? I was just fucking playing video games all fucking day. And I guess this is kind of normal for a lot of people, but it's not like, it's not even like I was good 
at the video games I was playing because I recognized that video games can be healthy and normal for some people and it can lead to careers like streaming or game reviewing or things like that. But uh, for me, it's the complete opposite story. Um, I was never good at any game even. It's not like I played like one game and become a master, became a master at it like Smash Bros or Street Fighter. I would just jump from game to game and you know, because I had all these ways of getting free games, which I'm not going to get into, um, even for like things like my, my DS or on the computer and, you know, alternating between both of those, I would just jump from game to game, maybe only play a game to at most 10% completion, regardless of the genre, unless it was a really good game, but then I would just jump from game to game and not even you know not even finish any of them so it was just like i was chasing the novelty of the new game and the kind of like dopamine rush and that comfy feeling that comes with playing video games because let's face it gaming is probably one of the comfiest things um a need can do or anyone can do in general to cope with the shittiness of life and the misery and the monotony or just i don't know harshness or you know cold carelessness of this world and you know video games can suck you into a new universe can you know channel your your thoughts or your attention into this basically this other world or universe that people have painstakingly crafted that is that the game is good um, but yeah, there are actually a lot of decent games out there, but I guess my brain would somehow eventually, uh, figure out on a subconscious level that, you know, I guess in some ways, like all games or in a genre are basically the same. And, you know, while people know this consciously, it's only when the brain subconsciously like realizes this that it starts to get bored of genre of whole genres. Like I used to love JRPGs, but eventually I would never ever finish any of them because my brain kind of realized that okay, every all these games only are different in the art style and you know maybe slightly different in the battle systems, but you know at the end of the day, all it comes down to is like grinding for like loot or XP to beat some boss and that's spending like fucking hundreds of hours or at least 80, which is like the standard. And yeah, that's how I started, I guess, to get bored. And it was kind of the same with all the genres. And yeah, it's weird. Cause like, I couldn't even finish a JRPG, which requires like minimal effort. It's just, you know, I don't know. I feel like, is it a reflection of something that's wrong with like me that I can't finish anything to completion? Or is it that the, the, the playing of games made me this way? I have no idea, but I've spent tens of thousands of hours um, playing video games and sorry, my throat hurts. Um, and yeah, not doing anything useful. Like the time I spent playing video games or like I've mentioned before, doing useless shit could have, could have been uh, spent on, you know, actually pursuing a hobby. But I've spent my video game hour count in total is in the tens of thousands because I think when I checked my lead playing time, it was already over 8,000, 9,000 hours, and then I played it for several thousand after that, so. And it wasn't like, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't even good at it. It's just, I don't know. And yeah, that's the severity. It's like video games took the place of everything that should have been normal in my development, including developing a social life and things like that, or maybe I'm being too hard on video games. Maybe it was, I was the problem. And 
my addiction to video games was just a reflection of what was inherently wrong with me. Or maybe it's a two-way thing. You know, maybe they're not mutually exclusive conclusions to draw. Maybe I was effed in the head, which led me to over playing video games and the video games further F me in the head. So it's like, it's like uh, 69. Okay, I'm not gonna even get into what that means, but those who know, know, I guess. Please ignore what I just said. Anyways, um, yeah, um, I don't know what else to say about video games. I'm pretty sure that's all to say for now. And yeah, just to recap, I over the last few days, I spent 13 and a half hours per day playing some fucking game that's not even a matter. But then, then again, does anything really matter in life? I don't know, maybe I shouldn't really give a shit, but you know, feels bad and good at the same time. I'm probably gonna play some Fire Emblem right now. So anyways, this is Comfy Neat uh, signing out. Make sure to hit like the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, uh, peace out.